it's fair to say that to a very large degree, you know, our economy, the British economy, and that of you know other finance-dependent countries, um, are serving finance, not the other way around. And that's the situation we find ourselves in, and that's the situation we need to do something about. That capitulation, where um, servant becomes master, what are the social effects? There's kind of two things that have been going on. One is the growth of finance itself. Banks have been getting bigger, and you've also been getting players like private equity firms, hedge funds growing and credit has been growing enormously and also the real estate sector you've seen huge amounts of money going into that and house prices rising so that's one kind of big part of it another big part of it is what they call um, what academics call financialization and what that is is uh, the rise of kind of financial techniques and uh, financial models in the re rest of the economy so we're talking about you know manufacturing and all these other sectors Financial techniques have increasingly been put to use in these sectors and there has been a rising focus away from the kind of old view of companies as servants of society. They had various goals that were included, you know, providing good jobs for workers, also profits for the owners um, and providing tax revenues. These were all part of the good stuff that companies were providing. As financialization has progressed, um, these multiple goals have been kind of narrowed down towards a single-minded focus on extracting profit uh, for the owners of these companies. And all the other goals have kind of fallen away. So uh, you've had uh, companies start focusing increasingly on financial engineering, on, uh, you know, the, uh, like a private equity firm, for example, will buy up a company and say this company hasn't put enough of its financial affairs through tax havens so let's do that let's buy it up um, run more of its stuff through tax havens let's buy lots of companies in the same sector and put them all together so now we've got a monopoly and we can extract more money from consumers so they're extracting from taxpayers they're extracting from consumers and so what financialization is really about is this shift away from this idea that we're creating wealth towards this idea that we're extracting wealth so and this creates a kind of image. I like to view it as a kind of, um, you look at the real economy and then on top of, sort of perched on top of this economy, there's this superstructure of kind of pipes, of all these um, little pipelines of money being kind of sucked out of all these different parts of the economy and, and being extracted for the benefit of a relatively small number of people right at the top um, in the financial sector. Mm -hmm.